What is color temperature and why do you need to care? Color temperature is typically described in terms of warm or cool. You've probably heard colors like red, yellow, and orange being described as warm, and colors like blue, purple, or white described as cool. In the painting you see on the screen, I'll walk you through my thought process as it relates to color temperature and give you three painting tips that you can use on your next painting. The lighthouse in this scene is located off the coast of Maine near Acadia National Park, Winter Harbor Lighthouse. Tip number one, cool light will produce warm shadows and warm light will produce cool shadows. Looking at the reference photo, you can see that it was an overcast day with no clear indication of the sun's location in the sky. The trees on the left already cast a subtle shadow on the left side of the lighthouse, so I decided to make it easy on myself and assume that the right side of the lighthouse was being lit by warm sunlight. This brings me to tip number two. Don't be afraid to exaggerate. You can see that I've painted the shadow portion of the building much bluer than the shadow appears in the photo. I knew from the beginning that I would exaggerate the color temperature contrast between the shadow and lit side of the lighthouse. Speaking of exaggerate, I decided to do a little experiment and I started with red paint on the shadow side of the smaller building between the tower and main building. Notice that it's a purpley red, which means relatively speaking, you could say that it's a cool red. We're just scratching the surface of color temperature in this video, but the main thing to note here is that I will make sure that the sunny side of the lighthouse is a relatively warmer color than the shadow side, in addition to making sure it's also a lighter value. We're not going to go into value in this video, but let me know in the comments if a video explaining value would be useful to you. The third and final tip, paint from life whenever possible. There's nothing wrong with painting from photo reference. I do it all the time for watercolor. However, as we've seen in the video, there's a lot of missing information that we need to fill in, especially as it relates to color temperature and the shadow areas of the image. If you've been painting for a while, or you've watched any number of painting videos on YouTube, you've probably heard this plenty of times before, and it's 100% true. Now that I have the main shadows in, I'm moving in to paint the light side of the lighthouse. And the most important part of the video, you can see is blocked by my head and we have light. You can see how warm the light is, painted orange, yellows, different warm colors on the light side of the house. And this is in contrast to the shadows where I've already painted this bluish color. On the roof facing the sun, or the direction of light, it is a warm brown and warm gray. And now adding in the final details and final shadows. And hope you enjoyed this video. Here's the final painting.